guess we really want this pilot. Oh, oh no! Madness. Picture, if you will. A picture, if you will. Say you're trying to draw a person. First, you draw an oval for the head, then add a cross to draw the facial features. Wait, better idea. Leave it, give it a sandbag torso, little shoes, and floaty hands. Done. Uh, word to the wise, never, ever, ever try to pull these hands off. Anyway, welcome to Madness Project Nexus. This is technically Project Nexus 2, as there exists a brilliant old Flash game of the same name, made by the same people on Newgrounds. But more on that in a second. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Madness Combat, it started as a cutesy but overly violent animation series on Newgrounds in the early 2000s by a guy who calls himself Crinkles. And due to its success, he kept making more even to this very day. And eventually, what started as a harmful scuffle over a radio evolved slowly into reality itself being twisted by mysterious machines, the protagonist's repeated revivals after dying, and even expeditions to hell itself. And during that time, Crinkles decided to make a few games on Newgrounds as well, most notably the simple, fun game Madness Interactive, and in 2012, with more people helping with development, Madness Project Nexus 1, my favourite Flash game of all time. Both were brilliant for their time, especially the latter game. Every sprite, every firearm, character, even how it felt to play, it felt so true to the animations. It was so intense, and all through that game were advertisements for the second one. And I really wondered, how on earth would they top this? Well, after many years, it was finally released in 2021. And uh, I have already played it, but I haven't played it in a while, and the plot is really loose. So each experience still feels like a fresh one, at least to me. So, if you'd like to join me, let us go forth into Nevada. To start this series off, I will not be playing the story mode. Um, I, as I mentioned before, I've played both. I didn't go all the way through the story campaign, I got most of the way through it, but I have been all the way through arena combat. And this one is far friendlier to, well, not just new players, but new viewers. Uh, yep, new game. We're starting fresh. Enter your name. Betsy. Yes. The reason is because you create your own character. So you can go noob here, which is it's nothing special. It's just the bloke. You can go agent. Uh, you can read all that if you want, but in essence, he's really good with guns. Not so good with melee. And there's a very special skill that he has, where during stages where you need to infiltrate, break in somewhere, no one will know that you're an opponent until, well, you start stabbing people. Experiment. Haven't? Freaky looking fella. He's very jumpy and has quite a strong psychological effect on his enemies, but uh, quite weak against fire. And there is lots of fire in this game. Mercenary. Cold hard killer. You don't care where you get your money from so long as you get paid. You can spend your hard earned cash to convert opponents to your side. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nice. So you get a cash bonus, but you can't hire too many people though, which is all right. Escaped patient. This one's pretty cool. You keep telling people about your imaginary friend who helps you out of tough spots. Why won't anyone believe you? You're in so many meds that a little knock to the dome isn't going to phase you. <laughs> really good at unarmed combat. Not so good acrobatically. Oh, I'm tempted, actually. And we have some, and because you have to play through this game a handful of times to get the other ones, uh, there's disquiet. Oh, God, that's absolutely brutal. Offering. Oh, that's a new one. I haven't seen... Your hands. I don't like your hands. Demon, basically. So you can convert dead people to your side and have them fight with you. Massive. This is a personal favorite of mine. You're just gigantic. Like, you can't dodge for shit, but you're absolutely enormous. You don't need to. And you start the game, like, an extra half meter taller than everyone else, and every skill you get makes you bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you're this enormous mass. Punching opponents with this one is really fun, but again, uh, 
it's not unlocked yet. And Tinkerer, this one's amazing because you can stick any part onto any gun whatsoever. It is chaos <laughs> what this crazy man can make. However, I have five options at my disposal. I went with Noob the first time I played, but uh, I'm actually really tempted to go patient. Never played as this fella. What? Huh? Okay, so you sort of got to build up your skill for this little character that you've chose. This is Betsy. He's absolutely nuts and imprints here. That's how many times you've played arena mode. So you need one to unlock most of these and you need two to unlock the giant one. So anyway, let's go patient. Oh boy. Imprint successful. Dr. Gordon Freeman, wake up. <laughs> That's right, we meet the doctor. Where am I? How did I get here? Looks like the imprint was successful. Welcome back, Betsy. I don't remember. What procedure? It'll come back to you soon. For now, let's get you up to speed on our objective. We're going to check out North Central, the northmost district of Nevada's largest megalopolis. There you'll find a vacant building procured by our operation, organization. Every cent of our funding has gone towards acquisition of that property, so in the event that we find the Mandatus there, you will need to flip the derelict building into a lucrative enterprise. Do that, and we'll finally be able to run the enmeshment program and decipher the Mandatus. And meshment? Program? Mandatus? Huh? We'll get to that in time. Focus on building your empire first. We'll tend to the important work after you've got them set and did. Look, looks like your stop is coming up. Listen, if you need help, call me from the phone in the hub room above the lobby. We'll speak again soon, Betsy. Best of luck. Thanks, Doc. You're cool and very mysterious. Appreciate you. Oh, man. Oh, yes, this game is very pretty and blue. Somewhere in Nevada. Haha. <laughs> it's not madness without that. Created by Matt Jolly and Michael Swain. Crinkles and Swain. Fantastic work, boys. Oh, I've got to remember these controls. Yeah, here we are in a very, um... Miserable... City. <laughs> nice shoes there. Wonder what sort of illicit substance is being sold here. So this is the place, huh? Yep. Big opportunity. Fun stuff. Goal. Yuck. Icky. Icky and gross. So here's our building. We gotta make it lucrative. Gotta make it safe. Gotta make it ours. <laughs> hey, Squatters Rice, this place is mine. <laughs> sorry, mate. I'm intruding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Stay back. Stay back. Get off me. Get back. Back. Piss off. I was here first. Stop it. Stop it. Get. Get off me. Oh, all right. You're a cranky kid, you know that. Name's Betsy, and it's time to move out, old timer. It's my place now. So they finally got someone to take over the old annex building, eh? <laughs> well, good luck. This place is infested with all manner of unscrupulous sorts. Hooligans, roughnecks, rascals, you name it. Great. Well, I'm gonna find the circuit breaker and get the power onto this dump. You better be gone when I get back. Oh, no sweat, Chief. <laughs> You know, I used to run a power station outside of Nexus City, so I, I know a thing or two. You're going to want to try the helipad on the rooftop. That's where they stuck that pesky breaker panel. Hey, yeah, this should help, see? I got your back, Chief. Hey, you're not so bad. You can take a punch, that's for sure. I hit you like 12 times in the head. You're still up and talking. Some sort of sense as well. Right, so we've established that we're the boss. Our skills are far superior. 
You wouldn't believe it. Ooh. Oh, man. It hasn't been that long since I played it. I just forgot how pretty this game is. I love how bloomy and blue and purple and... Ah, everything just pops. It's so pretty. I <laughs> love how we run, too. We're so cute. <laughs> Hang on, what's the control for Ragdoll? What is it? Mashing all the buttons. J. K. K. <laughs> for whatever reason, there is a Ragdoll option. You push... My, my hands floating. There we go. There's a Ragdoll option. Say so walk, 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 flop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just flop. <laughs> it's like Maru the cat. Oh, man. Uh-oh. More squatters. Quick, let's beat up these very sad, vulnerable people who are doing tough. Because I hate them. They're in my freaking building. Apparently negotiating is off the cards. We are just going to bash them until they fucking die. <laughs> oh, you poor sods. Uh, there's a phone here. All right, Doc, we're in business. Ready to get started. Good, the plan is just like we discussed. Get this place in working order and establish a functioning enterprise out of it. If you're ever uncertain about what to do next, give me a call. I'll be monitoring your progress remotely. Good luck, Betsy. Thanks, Doc. No way you could fix these boys by chance. Maybe I could hire them instead of, you know, flatten their sinuses. I mean, that's less fun. Ugh. This is disgusting. And so are you. Nah. Get off my turf. To sort of break from the uh, immersion for a second, I adore the soundtrack of this game. Made by two people, Cheshire and Lochnar. Cheshire has been doing music for madness for forever. And he's done an excellent job. And so has Lochnar. Always love this. So much. Uh, we gotta go this way. Now this way. Oh. There's an unsuspecting squatter who's a bit blind. Take down. Uh. Oh. Oh. On the fucking noggin. You poor sod. <laughs> Not that way. Oh. Well, when this is up and running, that's going to be very good. We're going to meet a very nice salesman. Very nice salesman. Come and gay, hot stuff. Back talker. Eh? That's fucking rude. Don't you backchap me, I'll fucking clap ya. There we go, flip circuit breaker. I'm glad it's big, shiny, and obvious. So that's actually how we walk. This is how we run. <laughs> oh man, this is so cute. Ah well, let's go downstairs. We gotta talk to uh, the first squatter man who we said, get out of here. Ugh. Yeah. Hopefully he can clean it up for us. Cause I'm not doing that. No way. Ugh. <laughs> Just, like it's it's so different looking to all the animations, but it's still got the same sort of cutesy character design. Everyone just moves in such an odd fashion, and everything sort of just feels just right. Super over-the-top violence. So over the top, it's ridiculous. Just... <laughs> just beat the shit out of four people. Wait, Doc! I need... <laughs> we got an interruption for me! Already running into trouble, Betsy. Go and speak to that odd fellow waiting for you in the lobby. He may have may be of some use to us. Appreciate it! <laughs> okay, let's talk to the weird bearded man. Looks like you got power on, Chief. Nice work. <laughs> Those low lifes upstairs get me any guff. What the hell are you still doing here? I asked you nicely to vacate. I can't make something out of this wretched dump with you in here. Chase, 
It isn't all that bad sport. Sure, it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but once you've gotten the muddy, grimy smears off of just about every surface in this place, make a real shining out of it. Just you wait and see. Well, unless you're handy with a broom, I need you gone. Today. Now. You're offering me a job, Chief. Oh, because it just so happens I'm freshly back on the market. <laughs> and uh, I'm not too overqualified to do a little clean-up around this joint. In fact, bear with me a minute. Let me show you something. Okay. Yes, I'd burn OB. Good. I like this man. Boss man. Boss man, that's his friggin' name. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you didn't ride into Nevada Central unless you were looking to make some serious dosh. Am I right? Not exactly. This place is gonna be the headquarters for a massive paramilitary enterprise. I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty much building it from scratch. You're gonna need cash in hand to do it, as well as a few capable appointees to help you run a place this size. So, just so happens I used to be upper management. Plus, I know a few guys can get this place rolling in no time. Alright, where do we start? Oh, you're gonna get a kick out of this, Chief. Follow me, I'll show ya. Oh, uh, we got blood on our shoes. Yeah. Oh, what's that smell? That was the other man. You know what happens? The last thing you do before you die, when you die is pretty rough. Here it is. I knew this old scrap cane will come in handy. Help me out. What am I. What am I looking at here? This, this, my friend, is a state-of-the-art Nexus Core Sleepwalker Dream Assimilation trademark bed. Trains a know-nothing civilian into a killing machine in record time. And this rusty old box is supposed to bring in the money and manpower I need to build this place? Yeah, okay, sure. You gotta be the person to lead, Betsy. This bed's what gets you there. If you want to command an army, first you need to command respect. Let's just feed this puppy some juice and, uh, oh, you see what I mean? Go on, Chief, give it a whirl. Well, he's right. Look at our punches. Oh, I can't punch you. Why can't I punch you? Ow. I hit a bed and I hurt my wrist. Thanks for not uh, killing me, Betsy. I owe you one. No worries, boss man. That's one really cool thing about this game is, uh, your character is really, really, really weak when he starts out. Like, we could beat up some starving homeless people, no problem. <laughs> it hurts to say out loud, but... What about someone who's well-fed, well-bred, proper fighter? We've got some brushing up to do ourselves, I think. We can't be punching like that. We'll get massacred out there. So, we need a training bed. Boss man here. No worries, mate. Has given us just that. These old tapes labeled Sleepwalker Training Program look musty and used, but Boss Man claims they'll train you up to fighting fit in no time. Let's see if he's right. So if we die in this strange machine, we'll be fine. We can just hop back out and do it all over again. Uh, we'll go hardest difficulty, because I sort of know what I'm doing. You get a bit more XP at the end, and you can spend XP on skills for this useless little Muppet. <laughs> what are those fucking things on his spine. It's petrifying. <laughs> Wave one. Let's launch. Combat tip. Hold shift and middle mouse button to knock attackers away. Yes, there's lots and lots and lots of different combinations. All right, so now the subject. Welcome to Project Nexus, test subject 1v02p underscore six. Today we'll be helping us move combat science forward by engaging in controlled battle experiment. What did you just call me? In a moment, we'll be sending in opponents of escalating difficulty for you to face. Our technicians will keep you alive, so don't be afraid to go all out. Do you understand? You guys realize this isn't real, right? Excellent. We'll start you off with something manageable. The button lets us know you're ready to proceed. Best of luck. You're not real. Shit, neither am I. Neither am I. Oh, God. Right, we need to learn how to punch properly. We can't be swinging down like that. That's weak sauce. We need to put some weight behind our punches. What better way to learn than to practice? Especially on uh, little grid monsters. Oh, quickly. Ow. 
They can only punch about as hard as we can, yet they're... They will gang up. Ha! Arena victory! Aha! Arena victory. Oh, thank you. Five kills, 11 XP. New wave bonus. Unarmed. Sweet. That's enough for now. See you tomorrow, 1VO2P underscore 7. Fucking me reading Twitter. <laughs> Get out of the sleeper. That was a sleeper bed treating you. Feels pretty real, huh? Pretty groovy, don't you think? I swiped it where the Nexus core can be. <laughs> Fascinating. But when does the money figure in? Working on something. I know a first-rate bloke that can get you some uh, running missions for cash, but he's uh, indisposed at the moment. Just focus on training up for now. You're gonna need some major skills if we're gonna recover, my guy. I set up a training dummy for you to hone your abilities with all that combat experience you'll be gaining. Oh, and I found a chest full of crap for you. Maybe you can find some use for it. You'll be able to f access your war chest between waves too. We'll take more after you've cleared the uh, uh, sleepwalker tutorial. Okay, Chief? Well, okay. We have a dummy. I'm... how? How? Much more better. But you can access it and uh ah I'm surprised just one round had enough for uh, improve the quality of your unarmed attacks train skill oh and that's right strength I guess we need harder hitting punches but endurance will help us survive more gunshot stuff nah I like to hit hard let's go we have four main skills here we have unarmed skill so Pretty self-explanatory. Melee, you know, hammers, knives, even bayonets on the ends of guns as well. Ranged, obviously, how good you are with guns. Acrobatics, how well you can dodge, get out of the way, how quick you are, all, all that sort of stuff. And over here are the attributes that these affect. And over here we have sub-attributes as well, which uh, they're quite complicated. You've got force here, you've got critical here, strive. Lethality, athletics, sensors. It's kind of complicated. So all we need to know for now is I have leveled up my punches. That's better. That's way better. Look at that huge swing there. Buzz, 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 buzz. Ha <laughs> ha. Marvelous. We're still pretty weak though. We can punch well, but we're not very resilient. No, wait, hang on, hang on, wait, 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 let, let, let me out. Not going in there unarmed, are you mad? In this box we have a pile of rocks. When the going gets tough, the tough find something to use as a weapon. They probably wouldn't resort to a handful of rocks, but hey, what do I know? Basic Nevadian 9mm Parabellum. Cold steel fixed sights, a popular choice for being affordable without being cheap. And, uh... We know nothing about handguns, so of course we're going to hold it like a fuckwit. <laughs> Wait, wooden board. If only there was a nail in it. Maybe that's why they're not running scared. <laughs> you aren't equipped enough... Sorry, you aren't strong enough to wield this weapon with one hand. Okay. No, no matter. So these are the three main weapon classes you can have. You can have melee. Equip. And you can equip this as well. You have, you have a, a firearm. I think you can only... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. How do I... Uh, Hold shift, equip. Oh, hold control, equip to back. Right. So we can carry two main weapons. One on our back, one in our hands. If we get good enough, we can hold two in our hands. And two on our back. But at the moment, it's just one. And pile of rocks, we'll pocket these ones. These are throwables. Really, really useful, actually. Armor. Yes, it's a straight jacket. When a person needs a little help keeping their hands to themselves. <laughs> Yeesh. Armor 2 and Cumber 2.5. So we're slightly armored on the body. Hopefully we don't take any headshots. So if memory serves, yep, we're going to be really terrible with this because it's a two-handed weapon. Oh, that's slow. Still, I guess with all those nails hanging out of it. Oh, that's going to, yeah. It's going to hit hard. It'll just take its time, I guess. Wave 2. 60 XP. Let's go. Oh boy. 
You look fascinating. Oh, nice eyes. Welcome back, bunch of numbers. Let's continue the experiment. Please note that you may leave any time, but if you quit a wave before it is finished, we will be forced to restart your progress from the very beginning. Just the same as if you had died. However, leaving between waves will only reset you back to your last checkpoint. Make sense? Let's begin. True. If we leave right now, we'll go back to wave one. If we die, we go back to wave one. Okay. No. It makes sense, I swear. Let's let's go hit some ones and zeros with a nail board. Oh. He blocked it. Well, he dodged it. Little twat. Come here. Oh. Uh, the board is breaking. Oh. oh, it's broken. It is broken. I have a hilt in my hand. I need to throw this. There we go. You hold down the use key. Oh, I have a firearm! <laughs> Give me that. Uh. Oh my god, my blocking is terrible. I just go, please don't hurt me. Yo! Yo! Dunk. Get him! Ooh! <laughs> That's right, if they get parried enough, you can do a takedown. Which is always really fun. Okay. So this wave has been finished. Lots of melee, lots of range. A little bit acrobatic. Good. Remember, acrobatic's very hard to train. I sort of need to... Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's my dodge. Th that's... That's how I avoid people. Not... Great. Wait, how do I throw rocks again? Oh, that's right. G. Grenade button. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I would not get up from that one either. Bonk. Bink. Bonk. Bink. Oof. Ah, oh, that was a takedown. Damn it. Boink. Boink. Uh, you're laughing now? Oh my god, my guy's nuts. Get him, get him! Oh! <laughs> What's that little hand thing he did? Okay, I'm gonna throw this bat. Oh. Uh-oh, wait, is that a red one? Oh, he has, he has a gun! He has a gun! He no longer has a gun. Good. Okay. Okay. Come on, try and hit me. Try and hit me. Are you the voices? Ugh. Try and take out this yellow guy. He's got a... He's got a pipe. Pow! I haven't heard that in fucking forever. Got him. Okay. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> just meekly hoping he doesn't collect me. Go on, take a hit, take a hit. Ooh, I blocked that. I mean, the first hit, anyway. Ow. Ooh, perfect, good. Come on, hit me again. Ha ha. Come on, hit me again. There we go. Oh. Ready to quit? No, I just got started. Sweet. Okay, um... I'm gonna need that pipe. Two-handed. Oh, it's heavy. Really heavy. Nice. Seven bullets left. Do I have any spare mags for it? No, I don't. Uh, that's got six shots. Okay, I'll keep this one. Oh my god, our stance. And I think when I fire at someone, my stance will change to an even more aggressive. Hang on, let me fire. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> That's not at all how you... <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm here to fix your drains! Or make new ones! I... Never mind the insane ramblings. My character's perfectly healthy. He's alright, he'll be fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh okay, has no gun. Oh, I can pick things up. That's right. 
Oh, I blocked that one. I actually did it. I did a thing. Ow. Get him. Get back. I have a... Banning user. <laughs> We have a hilt. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna throw this. Oh, he did not like that. Back, back, back. Back, back. Okay, we're out of ammo. Okay. No worries. I stuck a pistol in his head. Ooh, there comes a big one. <laughs> Go away. Rock. Rock. Okay, that one worked. Give me that. I need it. Give me the pipe wrench. They got pipes. I need a pipe wrench. Push. 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 <laughs> okay, throw it. Oh, right in the head. Awesome. Okay. These big ones are very tricky. This is actually the height you start out as uh, when you are the giant character. Oh, Shazy hits hard. VR training buddy four. Uh, that was a good dodge. You need to get up faster than that. Oh <laughs> God, you're useless. Oh, good block. I think with these big ones, you've got to piss them off. They're just too big to take down. Uh, you've got to make them act irrationally. And you can sneak around. Ow, ow. Perfect. That's good. Time your dodges properly. Here we go. Ow. 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 I'm getting the shit beaten out of me. Oh god, my health. I only have two little slots of health. Ooh! Arena victory! Ha <laughs> ha! Benny Bice. <laughs> K is my favorite button. Ah. <laughs> this is a form of dodging. <laughs> How do we do? Acrobatic. Very- Ooh! Excellent! Lots of melee, lots of acrobatic skill. That's enough for now. See you tomorrow. Hello, friend. That went swimmingly. Oh boy. And we still keep our wooden board. The heck happened in here? The ah! Wrong way! Oh, it's very shiny. Medical. Wait, is he? No. Okay, there's no doctor here yet. Uh, when I die out in the real Novadian world out there, we will come back here. And we're gonna meet someone very special. Name is Skinner. Oh, he's cleaned up the place so well. No one's up here. Lobby. Got my handgun. I'm still holding it wrong. So you're looking pretty trim there, Betsy. Check out those muscles. Look at that rippling physique. That's enough. Ready to find this friend of yours. Oh. Oh, this guy's no friend. Real piece of work, this one. And make no mistake, he's an owner. Which means uh, you're going to have to go snatch him up. All right, where do we find him? Northern Central Bus will take you to where a gang of toughs are holding him hostage. Just head outside and check the bus schedule for to find your new contract mission. I think it's at the same bus stop you first arrived from, actually. Righto. Not quite. If you don't feel strong enough to rescue the pilot, you can keep using that sleepwalker bed. I think I might, actually. I so Good luck bringing back the pilot! Tufts uh, have him out pushovers. That's true. You do actually need quite a bit of training, because the Tufts will just roll me. And I do have enough XP to spend. I just forgot to spend it. And dummy. Let's go. Okay. In blue, we can spend, so core melee technique, improve the quality of your melee attacks. Uh, tactics? We've got seven. Strength is also seven. Um, tactics. Let's go. That'll help us get out of the way faster. Gun handling. Start with one extra mag per non-heavy firearm at the start of a stage. Nice. The, uh, this ammo stacks with the magazines of any other firearm you start with that uses the same ammo type. Nice. Also, you now hold your gun upright, like a professional. Good. <laughs> uh, dexterity. We're 
woefully low on that. Sweet. Core dodge. Improve the quality of your dodge. Oh. Shit. That's our weak slot. So with gun handling and unarmed, we got a little attribute point. But with uh, dodge, we did not. Because our acrobatics are our weak point. Okay. Look at that. We hold our gun upright. We use the sights properly. Oh boy. Right, so this is still considered a two-hander weapon. We seem to hit a bit differently as well. I really like the aiming system too. Because obviously you aim in a circle around yourself. But you can also go up and down a little bit. It's really cool. Oh, I'm such a big fan of this game. I'm so glad I'm playing it again. I have no idea how this... Okay, we've completed all the waves, but we can go even further beyond or even go madness difficulty um actually i've trained up the base level skills all of them so maybe just maybe i'm strong enough to go and rescue the helicopter pilot hard to say we have an extra mag of ammunition in our pouch we can swing with melee weapons really well we can punch well and we can get out of the way oh nice we saw through the skies we actually get up in a quick enough fashion as well oh that's great now nah, we've got this boys that guy deserves a medal he does he took to me beating him in the head and then offering him a job very well I should be kinder to that man. Get out of the way. Move it. Get out. Yep. Fuck your trash. This city's disgusting anyway. So gross. Yucky. Bust up. Pilot episode. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha Tough. We- Oh, we're gonna earn- Okay, great. We're gonna earn some cashews from this. And lots of XP. Fantastic. To begin running missions, we're gonna need a qualified captain foolhardy enough to ferry us into the mouth of danger. Boss man knows just such a puckish rogue. Problem is, he's being held by the Tufts, a band of hooligans responsible for most of Nevada Central's low-tier crime. It's alright, I'm going to bring them some mid-tier justice. We need this pilot. Hey, Sanford. Hey, Dawn. You look pissed. <laughs> If you haven't seen Madness Combat, do watch the whole series. It's so much fun. Anyway, let's go and rescue the pilot. First we gotta find him. Oh, motorcycles. With no engine at all. Oh. Hey, looky what we got here. Yeah, 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 fresh meat. Where you going? Away from you. Ugh. Oh, please don't hurt me. Wait, blocks only work if I'm facing them. Stay down. Uh oh. That's no fair. I'm the only one allowed melee weapons out here. Thanks for that bat, actually. Oh, this is, this is way better. Oh god, that's a chain. Spot this. I'm gonna shoot the guy with the chain. Or all of them? That's cool too. <laughs> I really like the baseball bat. It's really strong. 94% health, and it's light. So I can sort of swing it around a lot faster than that ugly wooden board. Okay, we have an extra mag up there. Good to know. Nine shots. Uh oh. I pissed them all off. Uh oh. Oh god. Break, break, break. Thin out the mass. Okay. No! No, you need to turn around and hit, dude! What are you doing? <laughs> no! Oh my god, okay. Something's not right. Uh, no, no, I'm dizzy. Oh, get up, get up. 
Okay. Get back! Reload, reload, reload. Quick. Good, good, good. There's just one left. We can deal with it. Oh! <laughs> oh, marvelous. Man, when they get all clumped up like that, it's really horrible. Oh, we're playing in traffic. Yep. <laughs> Play in traffic. Ooh, quickly, quickly! Ah! Ooh. God, they nearly had me. Stop swinging that way. Okay. Haha! I need that back. Excellent. One with not so many dents in it, please. Right there? That should be right, mate. Nice hat! That's friggin' awesome. Keep Nevada clean. $500 fine for dumping. Well, uh, I guess it's nothing without enforcement, right? This clown's making a break for the warehouse! Get him! Dodge. Oh, God. Oh. You're on break, break, break. Get out. Okay. I need to run. I need to run. Thin these blokes out. Good. Just two of them left. Oh, what I have seen. Excellent. We're getting good. Good block. Not bad block. Ugh. When we're dizzy, they can do a takedown on us. That's really bad. Fuzz. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. It's actually going really well. Boy, gonna be some trouble waiting for anyone trying to drop in on us. Oh boy. We're up to no good, you see? Hope nobody throws a rock at my head. Oh. Man, rocks are brutal. Oh. Get him, grab him. Boys. Boys. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I throw this? <laughs> He's been hit in the head one too many times, I think. Poor bastard. Three shots left. Okay. Make him count. Are we, are we just covered? Ah, don't think about it too much. We've got a job to do. Oh, damn it. He Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Beautiful. Okay, give me a bat. Wait, maybe I should have one of the chains. What a horrifying weapon. A chain with a bike lock on the end. That is... Man. Okay, my character's a... Fitting because my character's a bit of a psychopath, but... Even then. Uh, okay. I guess we really want this pilot. Oh no, not good. Oh, I completely forgot about that. We got shot a few times. No matter. I don't know what we're made of, but... Uh, we, we're fine. We'll be alright. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Just three of them. Oh man. I have such a problem using this... Oh god, it's not even that good. I'm just hurting them really badly. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, wait, no, that's a problem. If I swing and dodge too quickly, my character takes forever to get back up again. Oh. Get out. Get out. Get out. Perfect block, awesome. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Give me that pipe. I'm sick of bike locks. The flesh of the fallen angels. <laughs> That's hardcore, dude. Oh god, we're trapped. Oh, this is bad. No! Damn it, I lost health. Not good. God, break! Get out! 
Get off me! I want my pilot! <sighs> that could have gone a million times better. Oh, good. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. Heels! Nom, 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 nom. Hydrogen peroxide. Beautiful. You think you could unload our gear and we wouldn't find out? Yeah, numb skull. Jeez, lighten up, Tony. Even I get bored sometimes. Oh, you got no idea how right you are. Sometimes. Etc. Plot device. Hang on, this guy is very unsuspecting. Get him. Aha! I stabbed him. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 they got guns. Not good. Get him! <laughs> get back! Get back! Get back! Oh god, they got guns. They got a lot of guns. I need it. I need your gun. Gimme. Oh. Ah. Ow. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ooh. <laughs> I got you, buddy. I don't know who you are, but I owe you big time. Wanna settle that debt? Come work for me. Boss man says you're worth the effort. That old bum? <laughs> well, he's right. I'll get you anywhere you need. In or out of central Nevada. Nevada Central. Got my own whirly bird and everything. Then give me a ride back to base. Show me what you got. Arena victory. Woo! I thought I was done. I thought I was a goner. I thought that was it. Ooh. Nice. That went really well. Really well. Hey, That's only a little whirly bird, but it's a whirly bird none the whirly less. Thanks again, Betsy. Come and see me anytime you want to make a buck. I'm your man. Bessie, quick entertaining that ruffian before he talks your wallet right off you. <laughs> How are you, old so-and-so? Looks like you found yourself a cushy gig. Oi, don't go and work too hard for once. <laughs> Betsy, while you were retrieving Dave here, did a little recruiting. Come with me. Want to make the introduction? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you seem friendly and cool. Gonna do wonders together, Betsy. Okay. 